Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we'll have the latest from the live radar from for the latest UKV have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days conditions are settling down still be some rain around over the next few days but generally conditions are going to be drier or at least a lot drier than they've been over the past few days and temperatures are going to respond nothing crazy but mid-20s are possible especially further southwards of course as we head into the longer range as we've alluded to over the past few days we are going to see a bit of a north south split as we see more of a westerly flow emerging it's going to be generally more unsettled in the north but still not too bad and further southwards higher pressure close by so it should be drier and of course the same will be there with the temperatures cooler air masses further northwards warmer air masses further southwards so a bit more of a typical westerly flow coming up and as we'll see from the ensembles at the end of the video temperatures for most are not going to deviate too far away from average we have seen though again today as we've seen in other videos that there is a sign into early august of some high pressure making a bit more of a dominant feature but again uncertainty in regard to that and of course we'll look at that in more detail in the second half of the video so do remember if you enjoy the videos which do like and subscribe now to start on the live radar i've got this a little bit later than usual around 11 p.m tonight um, on wednesday evening a few showers still around across northern areas, and there have been a few hefty showers around, especially in the southeast earlier on today. But nothing too crazy going on again, much drier than it has been recently, and that will continue over the coming days. Temperatures this evening, you can see, are relatively mild. A bit of a blip on the radar there, um, going across the Republic of Ireland near Galway. Um, that's showing something ridiculous like minus 30 degrees there uh, that is definitely an error uh, unless uh, if that is correct and i'm sure we'll be seeing some reports of some real issues with ice and freezing cold temperatures but for most if we ignore that it is kind of average temperatures tonight nothing too crazy with temperatures widely around the low teens so not too oppressive but it's not terribly cold either now do over to the latest uk v you see those jars tonight to continue to come in and across the east there's another rash of showers around the late morning into early afternoon but again not looking too heavy but could be a little bit persistent there clearing into the evening elsewhere pretty dry and the temperatures will reciprocate as we head into friday again a little bit drizzly under some bands of cloud but generally not too bad a few odd showers but nothing too out of the ordinary into saturday it's a similar theme again a few hefty showers around but not too many most 80-90% are going to stay reasonably dry. Into Sunday, a bit more rain in the north, a few heftier showers, but by the afternoon much of that does disintegrate away and it's clearer. And then finally into Monday, similar story, some thicker cloud and bits and bobs of rain, but for most once again, it is looking pretty dry and pretty pleasant. So not too bad over the next few days. As I said, it's not going to be bone dry. There is going to be a north-south split as we see towards the end of this run. A bit more of that rain in the north, a bit sunnier and drier further southwards. But it's not really that bad anywhere. We are all generally around higher pressures, just slightly lower further north. It's closer to the low pressure systems that are sat out to the north and out into the Atlantic. You can see that on the mean sea level pressure. If we go out to day five, flat westerly with slightly lower pressure to our north, slightly higher pressure to our south. Again, the contrast is pretty small. 1,028 millibars there just towards our southwest and around 1,016 millibars just off our north coast. So it's not that big of a difference, but it is a difference and it does mean that it is slightly cooler and unsettled further in, uh, in the further northwards and slightly drier and warmer further southwards you see our prayer temperatures similar warmer warmest in the south coolest in the north but there will be you know waves of milder sectors moving through this afternoon widely high teens low 20s are so hovering around average for the time of year maybe a bit cooler than average in a few spots as we head into thursday the east will suffer with some of that rain maybe only high teens but further westwards and northwards around the high teens or low 20s are so not too bad into Friday, it's a similar story, but we have a bit of a warmer patch appearing across the east as we see a bit of a milder sector coming up from the south, combining with the dry conditions, 27 or 28 degrees. So as I said, it still could be pretty warm and pleasant, just not expecting anything too hot for the sort of foreseeable future. 
into Saturday. Uh, not quite as warm, but still 23, 24. Sunday, 24, 25. And Monday, again, maybe 23 or 24. So not too bad over the next four or five days. Um, but yeah, looking decent. Uh, again, we'll have to wait and see those exact details in the longer term, but perhaps a bit more of a north-south split starting to appear. Now, do look at the latest GFS. You can see this north-south split starting to appear over the coming days with high pressure sat towards the Azores and our south, lower pressure across Iceland and a classic westerly flow. The high pressure is going to be slightly more dominant feature as you can see the jet stream is just shifted slightly to our north so it does save us from being in the barrages of these low pressure systems but it's still close enough to have some influence longer term look at this high pressure starts to build in a bit more but there is this little pesky low sat to our south potentially a bit of a cutoff low that could cause some issues further southwards so it could introduce a bit of uh, instability showers and storms could come with that but overall though higher pressure taking a more dominant feature there into the longer term and if you do it on the put on the accumulated precipitation you see generally speaking we're not seeing too much rain at least initially but then if we look into the last few frames you can see that that north south split is there but it disappears a little bit into early august and that's because of that cutoff low bringing big showers and storms across france the channel and parts of southern britain so that's something to keep an eye on. but it, because it is an extended range i would say there's a low chance of it playing out like this at this stage but again it is a possibility to check out the latest GM, it is broadly similar. That westerly flow continues over the coming days. Again, that high pressure making a bit more of an influence longer term, but perhaps a bit of a northerly flow setting up there. As again, we see this little low dropping southwards could be coming a little bit cut off there. The air masses aren't particularly warm, so don't expect major thunderstorms or anything with this, but definitely showery and cooler. And you can see that with this northerly flow, there's quite a higher frequency there of some showers so not too bad uh, but yeah would bring a little bit more widespread rain there from the gm check out the latest ecmwf again broadly very similar over the next few days that westerly flow as we progress into longer term actually similar to the gm we see this low moving through it's a little bit more extensive and a little deeper this low pressure system and it does start to clear but it's struggle and generally speaking out towards the end of this run the jet stream does actually shift slightly further southwards it's a bit of a worrying trend you see these ye uh, yellow orangey bands are over the top of us and not heading to our north like you can see later on this week you see this bit of the jet stream is heading to our north just the north of scotland again it's a subtle few hundred mile shift but it makes all the difference it's coming from the northwest instead of the southwest so it's a slightly cooler bit more southerly tracking jet stream and it would allow low pressure systems to dig a little bit further southwards there unfortunately so it does look like it's going to be a battle between the high pressure to our south low pressure to our north and whether we see the jet stream sort of shifting further southwards or further north with like the GFS start that tries to propose. Regardless though, in all the scenarios, the conditions shouldn't be too bad unless we see some real big low pressure systems developing, which there's no indication of at this stage. Um, so yes, it not looking too far from average over the next couple of weeks, to be honest, after a pretty exciting and eventful first sort of six weeks or so of summer, it looks like, uh, yeah, the July in this, end of July and start of August is, yeah, not looking uh, particularly exciting at all. Not too much going on. Um, and yeah, looks like it is going to be a pretty quiet next few weeks. And finally, if we look at the ensembles, this backs it up completely. The uh, ensemble is not really too far off the 1991-2020 mean. It's even more often than not, probably slightly below average. Again, with the strength of the sunshine, it's still feel warm. But there's nothing spectacular over the next few weeks. Yes, yeah, some more runs appearing long term, like the GFS. But generally, nothing too crazy. Precipitation, low to moderate, so nothing too much. But again, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see for those details. ECM, WF. Pretty much exactly the same, hovering up and down in and around average. A little bit of a zonal sine wave appearing there. Perhaps that's sort of ebbs and flows within the flow with some slightly fresher, milder air masses. But it's nothing like a wintertime zonal um, sort of uh, zonal sine wave that we can see where there's 10 to 15 degree temperature deviation. Sometimes here it's more like a three to five degree temperature deviation. Again, precipitation pretty low, but uh, again we'll you know, look at this in a little bit more detail. 
nearer the time. Definitely a few extra spikes appearing there for early August could keep uh, sort of show that indication of that low that the GM and the East and F was looking at. Perhaps that could be sort of cropping up in more of the runs. That is something we'll keep a close eye on. But for the time being, I said pretty mundane conditions for being uh, completely honest. Sometimes, uh, you know, People don't, don't mind these, these sort of patterns, but it gets a little bit boring when we are forecasting because it doesn't look like much is going to be happening over the next couple of weeks. Average temperatures, up and down precipitation, nothing too crazy. Um, and yeah, it's going to feel pretty warm, but nothing too summer-like out there over the coming days. But to be honest, much you watch, uh, many of you watching this might, might quite enjoy this. You know, Low 20s or high teens most days, not too oppressive and hopefully pretty dry. But we'll wait and see. What happens for early August uh, as things are still up in the air? So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.